In previous lessons, we have discussed specific heat and heats of fusion and vaporization. Let's view this in more detail with this graph of temperature versus heat for one gram of water undergoing phase changes. Recall that specific heat is defined as the quantity of heat needed to change the temperature of one unit of mass by one degree. We'll use the letter C to denote specific heat. For water, C equals one calorie per gram per degree Celsius. In talking about heat, it's common to use calories and grams rather than joules and kilograms. Latent heat is the heat released or absorbed during a change of phase during which temperature doesn't change. We'll use the letter L for latent heat. For latent heat of fusion, we'll use subscript F. And for heat of vaporization, subscript V. The latent heat of fusion for ice is 80 calories per gram. And the latent heat of vaporization for boiling water at atmospheric pressure is 540 calories per gram. And the temperature rise of one gram of water between ice and steam, 100 Celsius degrees, involves 100 calories. Let's look at the steps involved to turn one gram of ice at zero degrees Celsius into one gram of steam at 100 degrees Celsius. We use the customary letter Q for quantity of heat. So to express the change of ice to water, we say Q equals M L sub F, which for one gram equals 80 calories. Or for two grams, the quantity of heat would be twice as much, 160 calories. For M grams in general, the quantity of heat needed for the phase change from solid to liquid is M L sub F. We express the quantity of heat needed to increase the temperature of water through T degrees as Q equals Cm delta T. Where C is the specific heat of water, M is the mass of water, and delta T is the change of temperature, 100 degrees in this case. So for this heating of water, that's one calorie per gram Celsius degree for specific heat C, times one for the one gram of mass M, times 100 Celsius degrees for delta T. Here, of course, Cm delta T stands for any amount of mass M and any temperature change delta T. For example, twice the mass of water heated through the same temperature range would require twice as much, 200 calories, and so forth. And turning 100 degree water to steam, we get 540 calories. Putting all this together to change one gram of zero degree ice to 100 degree steam, adding each step, we get 720 calories. We review what we've covered pictorially. Can you fill in the values? And we get, as expected, 720 calories. So to turn our one gram of zero degree ice to steam at 100 degrees Celsius requires an energy input of 720 calories. If you continue your study and solve problems involving quantities of heat, you'll use the equations we've covered here. I hope this brief lesson helps you understand what the equations mean. Very important. After all, equations nicely guide your thinking. I want to leave you with a question. How many calories are released by 50 grams of 10 degrees Celsius water when it cools to zero degrees Celsius and then freezes to ice? In total, how many calories? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.